guest. So rounding out the, the anthem, starting lineups, rise, we'll be right back after the National Anthem. Welcome back to the start of the game. First pitch was just thrown by pitcher Addie Harsh for the Zebras. First up to bat for Tippecanoe Valley is number 77, Yoder. And line drive back to the pitcher Yoder is out number one. Quickly through the Tippecanoe Valley lineup. One away, bring it up. Number Set, 77, the catcher, Yoder, the Prater. center fielder. Number 23, Prater, the catcher. 21, Benton, third baseman. Number two, Howard is your pitcher. Number 10, Benton is your first baseman. 52, Scott is your shortstop. 27, Gunnels is your second baseman. 26, Gomez is the DP. Number 9, Baca is your right fielder. And 22, Ingholm is your left fielder. That was strike number one on the number two batter, Prater. And ground ball to shortstop Macy Brown. That's a quick out. Two quick outs here for Rochester. Prater grounds out to the shortstop for the second out and bring up the third baseman, number 21, Abby Benton. Abby Benton up to bat next for Tippecanoe Valley. She's your third baseman.
Strike number two makes the count 0 and 2. And line drive to the second baseman, Carly Beeler, bounces off her glove. And that will put one on first base. Benton reaches on an air. Bring out the pitcher, number two, Howard. Number four hitter, number two, Howard. She's the pitcher for Tippecanoe Valley. Strike inside, evens the count at one. And swing and a miss for strike two. Musselman blocks that one. Counts one and two with two outs. Abby Betton on first base. Rice ball is a ball number two. And chopper to the shortstop. First baseman Borges stretches on that. Says umpire says she was off the bag, so safe at first base. Howard's safe on an air. Howard's. Bring up the batter, the first baseman, number 10, Allie Benton. First baseman, Allie Benton, first comes up to bat next. <laughs> Coach asking for a appeal on the call first base sometimes the home on plate home umpire has a better view he calls her safe as well says her foot was off the bag number 10 Allie Benton at the plate rise ball ball one Ball number two. Pop fly foul is going to drop in play, but no one able to reach it. Makes count two and one. Two runners on base for Tippecanoe Valley. Base hit scores a run right here. Three and one is a count. Big hitters count here. For your fifth batter in the lineup, betting just a freshman for Tippecanoe Valley. And tough one on the inside. Strike number two. Full count. And ground ball to the second baseman. That will get up the middle. Tippecanoe Valley scores their first run as Abby Benton gets across home plate. Two runners now in scoring position for Tippecanoe Valley. Betton with an RBI single. This brings up number 52, the shortstop, Howard Scott. Howard advances to third on the throw. Bring up the batter, the shortstop, 52, Scott. High pitch for ball number one.
making a defensive switch as Brianna Lee goes to right field. Charlie Pocock, no, Courtney Gast, excuse me, goes to center field. And Corey Rao comes into second base. Ball number two is also high. Counts 2-0 and here with two outs, two runners in scoring position. Tippecanoe Valley has one on the board. Pop fly backwards, goes out of play. A little scary in this, this area. Yeah. We're, we're, we're squeezed we're in, so trapped. we can't dodge anything. If somebody comes at us from the left side, we you're not getting out of that chair very quickly to defend yourself. No. Swing and a miss for strike number two. I know how you feel, a little, a little tied down here. If a foul ball goes straight up, it's better done. I'm gonna duck under the table yeah. probably. Rip as well. all the cords out, that's yeah. good, that's good. And high pop fly falls in. And two runs get across the board. That's three runs for Tippecanoe Valley as they have had a good first inning with some momentum. Brant, you were with me last week when they played Manchester. I don't know if they scored one run that game. So this they is a, they scored one. Did score they run. score no, one? I, th I think Aaron it was one they got. Um, the yeah, this is a good good start for them. Dallas. But it really shows you the difference of morale, I guess, because the first the first inning they were the home team and uh, Manchester scored about 16 runs that first inning. So, like you said, it was hard to get back. Now that they're the visiting team, they get to bat first, kind of gain some momentum themselves. And this is number. 27, Maya Gunnels, the second baseman up to bat. Ball's hit to the shortstop. And out number three. So Rochester gets out of the jam. Gunnels out to the shortstop for the Score third out. Score ends up being Vikings three to zero. Three We're heading to the bottom of the first inning. You're watching RTC of the of the TV4. We'll be back after wow, this. Brown, Elliot. in the bottom of the first, the center field, excuse me, second baseman, seven, Rao. Corey Rao up to bat for Rochester. Welcome back to the bottom of the first inning. Tippecanoe Valley putting a three spot on Rochester at the first half of the inning. Rao takes ball number one high. Pops up the second one, goes out of play. Quickly for the lineup for Rochester. Corey Rao is your second baseman. Macy Brown batting second is the shortstop. Alexis Elliott, number three and the third baseman. Batting in the cleanup spot is the catcher, Kennedy Musselman. Another foul ball by Rao. Not caught. Has another life. Counts one and two for her. Batting fifth is double zero. And the center fielder now, Charlie Pocock. Brianna Lee is the right fielder, number six. Carly Beeler is the DP. Allie Borges, number 12, your first baseman. Courtney Gass, now your center fielder. 
And number 25, Rouse Addie agency. Harsh, is your pitcher. Corey Rao runs out her slap in the 5-6 hole and is safe at first base. This brings up number 11, up Macy number 11, Brown. Brown. Bunt goes foul. Brown gets the butt down. She will be safe. Rao gets moved to third base. And she'll be safe as well. We've got runners on the corners as Brown Rochester the throw first. moves Rao their runners the around quickly. Throw. Bring up the third baseman, number three, Elliot. This is a really a test of your concentration, you know. There's an echo of exactly what you're saying going on. There is? Oh, because, yeah, yeah Randy. Normally the announcers don't participate we as much. we got the PA it's announcer, Randy. Impressive. Randy Wynn. Giving me a little echo. Actually, I'm <laughs> echoing him. Yeah, I think it's so. The, the announcers around. are probably like, "We got it." Yeah. The, the viewers should just give him my headset. There we go. Yeah, here you can have it. Brian doesn't talk anyway. Yeah, I don't and know what's going on. <laughs> hey, you're learning. You've learned so much. Yeah, I like gappers and gappers. Carpenter like bees are dangerous. They are very dangerous. Indiana yeah. weather's ridiculous. Three known facts. <laughs> That's a big rip by Elliot. That goes foul, unfortunately. Could have been a triple for her. Brown on second base, Rao on third base. This is Alexis Elliot, third baseman up to bat. I played ball with her sister, so I keep wanting to call her Kirsten Elliot, but this is Alexis. A little nostalgia going on. Yeah, a like, little like. You hear the name and you're like, like flapping you flashbacks. And she played third base too, so now I'm like uber confused. Can you say uber? Uber, yeah. You can say that? Okay. I think it's more of a foreign German word, but uber. when you use it, you sound cultured. So I, there I you go. You sound cultured, well traveled now. Cultured is my middle name. It's not. Is it? Abby, Abby Cultured Malco. <laughs> Counts That's and awfully two. ambitious. <laughs> Counts 0 and 2 here to Elliot. Watches ball one go high over her head. Macy Brown on second base, Corey Rao on third base. High pitch in the 5-6 hole. That will get one run, maybe two. Brown gets easily across home plate and Elliott stays at first. Rochester answering back the first three runs scored against them in the top of the first inning. Bring up the catcher, number 44, Musselman. Kennedy Musselman, the catcher, up to bat now. Looks like we got ourselves more of a push-pull game. Yes, a little more exciting. We haven't seen many exciting games, I know. have we? we? We've had some pretty uh, it's been a big lot of blowouts. Runs, a lot of runs to a little runs, and usually it was accompanied by terrible weather. Might have played a factor. True. This is true. Musselman watches ball one on the outside corner. Long fly ball bounces off the fence and Elliot makes it to third base. Musselman stand up double at double second. For Musselman. Advances Elliot to third. Overmeyer will run for Musselman. Like Randy said, Overmeyer comes in to run for Musselman. I don't know if they can hear me or not, so do I repeat? It's pretty loud, but I think it may not be completely okay. audible. Okay. Well, I'm just... So you just have to... Back from the zebras, double zero. Just copying what Randy okay. yeah, Wynn says here. There you go. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it might not be. <laughs> I do know one thing, it is pretty warm out here. Yeah, actually I saw the Culver Laville game we you were talking about and it kind of made me a little grateful for today, but now yeah. it's being in this moment now it's like, man, I wish it were cooler. I know. If we could just have that sunny in 75. Yeah. Why does under Indiana understand You get that for a needs? day in Indiana and then it's gone. I know. So maybe I'll get a suntan though. 
Charlie Pocock up to bat now for Rochester. Swings at the first pitch. Counts on one. Squares to bunt, pulls it back. Squares to bunt, pulls back again for a ball. Definitely watching third base every pitch. Yes, they're anticipating a squeeze bunt. Do you know what that is? I do not. It's where Charlie will bunt and the runner steals home at the same time. Could be good, could be bad. That was not a squeeze bunt. Look at grounds out. Don't think it went quite as far as she wanted it to there. Correct. So that is out. For the first out. Number one. Bring up the batter. The right fielder, number six, Lee. Brianna Lee, the right fielder, up to bat now. First lefty power hitter we have seen today. And there it is. Pop fly to left field. That will be caught. Elliot tags. And crosses home safely. Lee with the sack fly, scoring Elliot. So Lee gets the sack fly. This brings up number the nine, the out. DH, Carly Beeler. Bring up. Number nine, Beeler. You guys are leapfrogging each other. I know. I'm saying it first this time. Ground ball to shortstop. Gets her off the base. But she gets back on the base because she's out. So score is now tied at three. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back. Leading all for Tibby Valley in the top of the second. Designated player 26, Gomez. Number 26, the DP Gomez up to bat for Tippecanoe Valley. First pitch goes high for ball number one. Bravo. Ball comes back at the camera. How are we? We're good. Good to go. Evens the count at one. I think his fencing is a little more separated, so. A little sturdier yeah. than past fields we've been at. Inside for ball one. Ball two, just kidding, ball two. Two and one's your count. Gomez up to bat. Way high for ball three. And ball four lets the Gomez head to first base. Brings up number nine, the right fielder, Baca. Gomez walks, bring up the left fielder, number nine, Baca. Bunt gets to Elliot. She throws it to first base after sliding around. Was she safer out at first? She was safe. So Elliot charged the bunt, lost her footing, 
ends up safe at first base. So no out still, and the leadoff well, batter in the center first. fielder, Yoder, comes up to the plate. Gomez advances to second, bring up the leadoff batter, the center fielder, 77, Yoder. Ground ball to Elliott, throws on the run, out number one. Yoder's out at first. For the first out, runners advance, bring up the catcher, 23, Prater. Prater, the catcher, now up to bat with two runners in the scoring position. Inside strike for strike number one. Strike number two. Makes the count 0 and 2. High pitch. First ball, one and two is the count with one out. Two runners on base for Tippecanoe Valley. Change up will fall in for a hit in center field. That scores number 26, Gomez, and puts one runner in scoring position. Raider with an RBI single. Betton, your third baseman, comes up to bat. Chances Baca to third. Prater on first, third Baca base. on third. 21, bet. High pitch for ball number one. Runner steals second. Brown loses the ball. And Baca comes across home plate. Quite a play. Yeah, work, worked out in Tippecanoe Valley's favor. If ball would have been hung on to, that would have been a big out for Rochester. So Abby Benton up to bat with the runner on second base here. Pinch runner for the catcher, Prater. Ball gets away from Musselman. Runner will advance to third. Runner advances on a pass ball. Counts 2-0 and oh to Benton. Drive to the five six hole that will score another run as Betton drives that one to left field. Brings up the pitcher, number two, Howard. Betton with a single. Scoring Prater. Bring up the pitcher, number two, Howard. So Betton on first and Howard up to bat. Score is six to three to Picanoe Valley. Adding to their lead. Bunt goes foul.
Strike number two on the batter. Just one out here. Howard, the pitcher, up to bat for Tippecanoe Valley. High pitch for ball number one. Throw down to first base, gets away. No damage done. Low and inside for ball two, evens the count at two. Pop fly behind shortstop. That falls in for another hit. Tippecanoe Valley Single for Howard, with a lot of momentum. Bring up the first base, number 10, Valley Bend. The freshman, Allie Benton, up to bat now. Ground ball to first base, just goes foul. Rise ball for ball number one. Evens the count at one. Two runners on base for Tippecanoe Valley. Nice pitch on the inside corner for strike number two. Pop fly to center field. Will it be tracked down? And it is. Benton flies out to center field. Charlie Pocock gets the second out. out number two. Bring up the shortstop, number 52, Scott. Outfield switched around just a little bit. Courtney Gasp is in right, Brianna Lee is in left, and Charlie Pocock in center field. After the first inning, there were just a few lineup changes. This brings up number 52, the shortstop, Scott. First ball comes in as a ball. And swinging bunt goes down the first baseline. Rao comes over to cover, and that will be out number three. So Tippecanoe Valley puts out. three runs on the board once again. We're heading Two to the bottom out. of the second inning. You're watching RTC and TV 4. Half, we'll be back after this. Hang on. Allie Borges up to bat now for Rochester. She's a transfer from Caston. Moved here this season. 
So that ball will go through two Tippecanoe we'll Valley here. players. I was going to say, I thought she was a casting girl. My sister's actually friends with her. So. Yep. Moved to Rochester. Right fielder, number five, Gass. So Courtney Gass up to bat now, the right fielder. Ground ball to the third baseman, trying to get double play, don't even get one. Ball bounces off the second baseman's hands. So a couple errors here for Tippecanoe Valley Safe. needing to All around. tune it up. Yep. Lead off batter, second base. Lead off batter Number and seven. second Rao. baseman, Corey Rao up to bat. <laughs> Bunt pops backwards, foul. Little jiggle in the camera. They've got good aim, though. I will say they find our cameras every time. Yeah. Quite impressive. Maybe they know too much. Yes. Too much precision. Counts 0 and 1 to Rao. This bunt goes to third base. They will try and get her out at third. That's the third error in a row for Tippecanoe Valley needing to hang on to this ball here if they want to hang on to their lead. Wow, with a single. Six to three Advances is the, the score in the bottom of the second inning. This bases brings loaded. Up Bring up the shortstop, number 11, Brown. Number 11, Macy Brown. Bases are loaded for this freshman. Starting shortstop. Takes high pitch for ball number one. Trying to get Borges at third base. She gets back in time. And that slap will land foul. Evens the count at one. Pop fly to right field. That will be caught. They're going to throw it home. And nobody scores. So Amy Baca with the out there for Tippecanoe Brown Valley. Flies out to right field, bring up the third baseman, number three, Elliot. Out number one as Elliot comes up to bat. There are still bases loaded for Rochester, looking to make up some ground here in the bottom of the second inning. Good block by Prater, the catcher, as that ball bounces off the plate. Ground ball to the shortstop. They go four, then try one, but they're not able to get both plays. So that's LA been hits into the fielder's choice. huge out number two there as Rochester is still not able to score and two outs. So Kennedy Musselman up to bat for Rochester. Number four hitter with the bases loaded. Good position for Rochester. Batter for Zebras Musselman. Ball outside, makes the count 1-0. and Going to intentionally walk here. Wanting to load up the bases, not taking any chances on Musselman hitting a far pitch. Quick timeout as some coach is talking to the player. Not sure if Rochester called the timeout or Tippecanoe Valley, but either way, both of them are chit-chatting about the plan moving forward. Counts 2-0 here. Looking to intentionally walk. You know, I wondered about this. The bases were loaded. The bases were loaded for Rochester. The ball was hit to third base and they got the runner out. They got Borges out at home. Now when you look out there, the bases should still be loaded because the girl that hit the ball 
Still made it to first. She made it to first, which would put everybody else around. So now when you look out there and there's no runner on third base, I wondered why they were walking Musselman because in my mind, the bases were still supposed to be loaded. Yeah, I even Because when she walked up to bat, I said, oh, good position for Rochester. Bases are loaded. So good catch by the Tippecanoe Valley coaching staff. Not sure what happened there if the runner heading to third base thought she was out because she thought Benton stepped on third base. Um, either way, six to three is your score. Um, Rochester is down, but now in the field. So we will head to the top of the third inning. You're watching RTC TV four. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to the top of the third inning. We had a confusing end to the second inning. Maya Gunnels up to bat now for Tippecanoe Valley. She takes ball number one. 27 the batter, Gunnels. Score is 6-3, to three. Tippecanoe Valley in the lead here. Rochester should have had the bases loaded with two outs. Runner on third base ended up not going to third base. She ended up running Gunnels, all the way home the shortstop. into the dugout. Um, Gunnels grounds out to the shortstop. Bring up Gomez. So last inning ended early on an error by the Rochester runner running to the dugout thinking she was out when in turn it was her teammate. So now we are here. Gunnels with the first out. Another lineup change for Rochester as Macy Brown, the shortstop, has moved to second base. And Charlie Pocock left from center field to shortstop now. Pop fly back behind us. Makes it strike number one. And line drive through the second base hole there. That was a gapper. That was a gapper. You are correct. Yeah. It was base it was a, a short gapper. Bring up the left fielder. But Parker. a gapper nonetheless. So up to bat now is number nine, Amy Baca, the right fielder. That's a strike as Baca did not pull back on the bunt offer. I'm going to have to start a, a dictionary of all these softball and baseball terms. There are quite a few. you got to know the lingo. High pitch gets dribbled to second base. Macy Brown gets the out. But they advance. Out to second base. Gomez advances to Gomez advances second. to second base. Bring up the leadoff, center field, 77, Yoder. 
two outs now. We're at the top of the lineup once again. Center fielder Yoder up to bat for Tippecanoe Valley. Outside corner for strike one. Ball number two ends up high. Strike three on the, I mean strike two, excuse me, on the inside corner. Have you ever seen that when umpires ring up a batter when it really wasn't three outs, three strikes? I've never seen that. That's true. I'm asking the wrong person. Yeah, Speaking uh, of, that's strike number three, the first strikeout for Harsh of the game. Heading to the, the bottom, bottom of the third, third six, inning. Three, You're watching like RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. Bottom of the third inning here. Leadoff batter for the inning is number 44, the catcher, Kennedy Musselman. Howard still on the mound for Tippecanoe Valley. 6-3 is your score. Lady Vikings in the lead. First pitch comes in as a ball number one. Ground ball to the third baseman will not be run Plus out. out to third. So that is the first out of the inning, bringing up Charlie Pocock. Another ground ball to the third baseman. That'll be a foul ball as it gets away from Benton. Foul ball back at the catcher, evens the count at two. <laughs> Counts two and two to Pocock, one out, no runners on base for the Zebras. Go, 
Full count to Pocock. Ground ball to third base. That will be foul. 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 How do you say that? Foul. 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 Go foul. F A L. Yeah, you just pronounce the first vowel and you're good. Foul. Foul. <laughs> I like it. It's like umpire 101. <laughs> Line drive to left field. That will end up fair. Pocock. But just a single. single for Pocock. Brings up Brianna Lee to Bring the plate. Number six. The right fielder, Lee. See, now that could be a little confusing because foul and fair would come pretty close in umpire lingo. Fa. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You gotta, a little you gotta tricky. enunciate the last letter. Here we go. Come on, and nice saving play by the shortstop. Pitcher turns around to throw it to second base, and the shortstop slides Pocock into second, second to get Pocock out. He's at first, bring up number nine, Beeler. So Lee reaches first on a fielder's choice. Number nine, Carly Beeler, comes up to bat. Line drive to center field will be a first hit. They're going to try and get her home. Beeler with a single. Just kidding. Beeler singles and Lee stays at third Vance base. Lee to third. Bring up the batter, 17, Overmeyer. Ashley Overmeyer comes up to bat now. Two outs here for Rochester. Looks like the center fielder Beeler for Tippecanoe Valley has the shift on. She's not playing a true center field. She's thinking that Rochester's going to pull the ball more towards the left field, so she's shading the left center gap. High pitch for ball number two. Prater tries to get her back at third base. Lee dives back and is safe. Ball low for ball number three. Elena Richard, new batter, just recently going into right field, is on deck. Nice pitch for strike number one. Makes the count three and one to Overmeyer. Another pitch for strike two. Howard doing a good job of finding the zone when she needs to. Count is full. Two runners on on base for Rochester. Big pitch right here. And swing and a miss for strike three. Huge strikeout for Tippecanoe Valley. Oh, Howard came back from a 3-0 three three count to end that Valley. inning. 6-3 is your score. Tippecanoe Valley in the lead. You're watching RTC TV 4. We're heading to the top of the fourth. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the top of the fourth inning here. Catcher Katie Prater up to bat for Tippecanoe Valley. 
Your score has not changed since we've gone on break. Six to three is what it still is. Brant, did you think it was going to That's reluctant, change? yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes. You didn't with our luck with technology, you, you never know. You be surprised. Sometimes the buttons push themselves. So counts one and one here to Prater. Harsh still in the circle for Rochester. Yeah, if you don't believe in ghosts, you're just, you haven't played with technology enough. No. You are correct, sir. <laughs> Pop fly goes back out of play. Perfectly hits the light pole. You know how hard that is, Brant? If you Seems tried to pretty difficult. If you tried to throw it at that light pole, you would never hit it. I mean Are you insulting me? No, no. Okay. <laughs> it did come out very insulting. Because we'll put money down, I swear. <laughs> Hundred bucks, I'll hit that light pole I, by the end of the week. I take it back. So ground ball to the shortstop, knocks off the knee of Charlie Pocock, and that's another hit for Tippecanoe Valley. Meeting up Prater with Harsh pretty good here, here. Up, up into the third fourth base, inning. 21, Benton. First pitch on the outside corner goes for a strike. <laughs> Throw back to first base. But she's safe at first. Pop fly, Rao's gonna go backwards. And ball hits the ground. Awkward positioning there. Macy Brown makes it over from second base, but not in time. <laughs> Count is one and two here to Betton. Trying to refrain from weed whacker puns. So we have one the, in the background. The weed whacker. Yeah. You know, She's I really don't. She's really about to whack it. I do not want to hear any more of your puns after surviving the bee puns. Yeah. Pitch on the outside corner. That's a ball. Evens the count at two. Run one runner on first base and zero outs here. You didn't do your tongue twisters, did you? One run. High ball almost gets away from Musselman. It's a good thing she's six foot one. Pop fly to right field. That one's tailing backwards. And Elena Richard misses that pitch. Runner will advance to third base. And do you see the call there? Calls are out at third base. Big throw by Macy Brown, tracking that ball down in right field. So stand up double there for Bet Betton. Was a single. Prater gets thrown out at third. Prater was thrown out at third. Pitcher Howard. I think Big. your nickname from ba basketball is downtown Macy Brown. It does is. that apply in softball? If it they does not. There is no downtown in softball. It's still a pretty far throw. From yeah, third, I mean. from downtown right field. I think right I might field. coin it. I might coin it. And just have her pay you every time you say it? Yeah. Okay. Or somebody should pay. Somebody should. <laughs> it's not really her fault, maybe. Maybe not her. Yeah. I'll get it sponsored by somebody. And <laughs> so big out by Rochester as they get Prater at third base. Howard, the pitcher, now up to bat with Betton in scoring position. Good pick by Kennedy Musselman as the ball does not get past her. Bounces off the plate. High pitch for ball number three. Counts 3 and 0 here. Strike number 1 makes the count 3 and 1. Still a big hitter's count here to Howard. Oh. 
Ooh. Nice pitch if you're Addie Harsh, but as the batter, I would not be a fan of that one being called a strike. Ooh. Foul ball back to the umpire's throat, I'm pretty sure. So count is full. The out is one. The runner is one. Score is six to three. Lady Vikings still in the lead. And high pitch for ball number four. Moves Howard to Howard first base. Walks. Allie Benton, the Brings sister up, of Abby Benton, is up to bat. Sister on second base. Be nice if you could hit your sister in, right? At least I'd like my sister to hit me in when I played. You guys ever play together? Nope. Hmm. Missed each other by a year. You should have flunked. You know, I thought about <laughs> it. I really did. It would have been easier. Yeah. Not really. No. We might have choked each other. Ground ball to the shortstop. Gets past Benton. And she is safe at third base. Pocock tries for the fielder's choice. So now the bases are loaded for Tippecanoe Good Valley. Choice. Everybody's safe. Their shortstop. Number 52, Scott. Shortstop, 52, Scott. She's up to bat. Good athletic move last inning as she slid into second base to get the out. Ground ball up the middle. That's going to score one run. Will they try for two? No, they stop at third RBI base. Single for Scott. So that makes the score seven to three. Mia Gunnels now. Maya Gunnels. Runners advance and bring up the batter. The second baseman, bat. 27, Gunnels. High pitch for ball number one. Another high pitch for ball number two. Harsh not working ahead very often in these counts, putting her behind and giving the Tippecanoe Valley batters a lot of control here. So counts 2-0 and with the bases loaded. 7-3, to Vikings in the lead. Inside pitch for ball number three. Not sure what the coach will do here. Usually Brant, when the count's 3-0, and the coach will tell the batter not to swing. But the bases are loaded. Addie has to throw a strike here. So do you let her swing and see how it goes? Yeah. Tends to hold it. That's a four pitch walk there. Walks in one run. So score is now eight to three. Gunnels walks. It's an RBI. Bring up the batter, the DP, 26, Gomez. Gomez up to bat next. Rochester gonna take a quick timeout. We'll be back right after this. Bats. Quick pitching change for Rochester as Brianna Lee comes in from the outfield to pitch. 
Corey Rao is going to take her spot in the outfield, and Addie Harsh, the previous pitcher, will head to first base. At least I think that's how it went. So Gomez is still the batter for Tippecanoe Valley. First ball low. Good block by Musselman. Base is still loaded for Tippecanoe Valley. High and inside for strike one. Ball low makes count two and one. Another low pitch. Makes count three and one. Right in there for strike number two. Makes the count full. Ball goes foul. Gomez stays alive in the at bat. Ground ball to third base. They will get her out at home, trying to turn two, and they do. That's a big out of the Gomez. inning for Rochester. Good spin Ground move by Kennedy Musselman, getting that double play. Score is age of three, Lady Vikings in the lead. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to the bottom of the fourth inning. Elena Richard up to bat now for Rochester. Howard still on the mound for Tippecanoe Valley. Rochester made a pitching change at the end of the last inning. Score is eight to three here. Tippecanoe Valley scored a couple runs. The score was six to three for quite a while, wouldn't you say, Brant? Yeah, quite a while. Quite some time. First strike makes the count even at once to Richard. I'm certainly not going to disagree with you. You no. are the professional, so. It's, yeah, usually I, I recommend <laughs> people don't do that. Nice change up by Howard as Richard misses the timing on that one. Pop fly just goes behind us out of play. Pops off the roof of the concession stand. Wouldn't be a bad position to, to sit up there. No, we should maybe try and We'd probably do something going on up there. Bake like a fried egg in a frying pan, but that's a thing, Brand. I definitely coined that on a break, but that's fine. No, you no, can no, take no, it on no. air. You can take you it on air. Said that's fine. Pancake. I said so fried you changed, egg. You changed the yeah, food, and a it's pancake all yours. means you're like you know fluffier. 
Yeah, sure. We're egg material. Egg material. <laughs> Fly ball to the shortstop. Makes out number one of the inning. We are full of yolks. Oh, no. <laughs> if Tim is listening out there Richard right now, out. he just Bring puked. Off. <laughs> yeah. And I'm when I tell him around. tomorrow, he's going to be thoroughly disappointed in your pun. Yeah. Or we'll crack up. <laughs> Either way, I'm, I'm guessing both might happen. Corey Rao up to bat now for Rochester. Takes ball one. Bunt gets down to the pitcher, Howard, and Rao is not able to beat it out. Good quick throw, athletic move by the pitcher Rao there. Out. out number two. Macy Brown up to bat now for Rochester. Bunt goes to the pitcher once again, and ball is dropped by the first baseman. Nobody's covering second. Brown notices that and Brown, gets to two. Brown, safe on an air, advances to second. It's good reaction time. Yeah, very good reaction time. Considering it was questionable whether she would be safe and yep. then to turn that into a bigger play. Always run it out. Always assume you're safe until batter, you're told you're base, out. Number three, Elliot. Elliot up to bat now. Good power hitter for Rochester. Might be able to get Brown in from second base. Watch his first ball go by. High pitch for ball number two. Nice pitch for strike one, makes the count two and one. Two outs here, runner on second base. Pop fly goes out of play onto the practice field. Pop fly to right center. That will drop. Macy Brown will score from second base. Elliot. So eight to four is the score. Error, Brown scores. Bring out the batter, 44, Musselman. Kennedy Musselman, the catcher, comes up to bat now. And inside, even to the count at one. Good stop by Prater on the low pitch. Howard careful how she pitches to Musselman here, being a big power hitter for Rochester. Pocock, the freshman, on deck for Rochester. Two outs here. Elliott on first. Pop fly to Benton at first base, and that's an easy out. Musselman flies out to first so base. So that ends the inning. We're heading to the out. top of the fifth. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back yeah, after this.
Left fielder, number nine, Baca. Welcome back to the top of the fifth inning. Right fielder Baca up to bat for Tippic New Valley. Your score is eight to four. Brianna Lee, the pitcher. That strike makes the count 0 and 2. Drop third strike. Gets thrown out at first base. Makes out number one. One away for center field 77, Yoder. Top of the lineup and Yoder up to bat now for Tippecanoe Valley. Counts one and two here to Yoder. Foul ball makes the count two and two. Just one out here. Abby with a fly in her eye. Yeah, I really do. I'm struggling. Can you tell me what happens for the next part of the game? Because I won't know. I'm partly blind. She didn't swing. No, that was a nice pitch. That's probably too close to take with two strikes, but worked out in her favor. At least with one eye, that's what it looked like. <laughs> so counts full here. One out, no runners on base for Tippecanoe Valley. And that will be ball number four. Yoder makes it to first base. Yoder walks. Bring up the catcher, 23, Prater. I don't know, you got allergies going on, and then you got a bug in your eyes. So maybe you'll walk out of here with, like, super hearing. <laughs> you know, I'm not really going to lie. I'm kind of, of a mess right now. Yeah. Foul ball backwards makes the count 0-1. Oh Correct me if I'm wrong, because, like I said... I can't see the scoreboard. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we are. So we're both blinded in blind, our own ways. Leading the blind here. It's that Pop movie, fly foul. That movie, Hear No Evil, Speak No Evil. Or yes. However it goes. But. Something about evil. That's all I know. <laughs> well, I don't know if we're talking about the same movie then. <laughs> no, we're probably not. Counts one and two with one out. Yoder on first base. The catcher Prater's up to bat. Ball on the ground. Almost gets away from Musselman. She throws her out at second base. And the scoreboard was just kidding Prater with me. Out. Because Yoder's that's out, out number three. Second and third out. Oh, I get it. It was a double play. All right, sorry guys, I have one eye. We will be back in the bottom into the, the bottom of the fifth inning. You're Boca, watching RTC Lee, TV Four. Beeler, we'll be back.
Welcome back to the bottom of the fifth inning. Some exciting music at the break there. Charlie Pocock up to bat. She puts one foul. Pop Fly gets a new life. For those of you, for those of you concerned, my eye is feeling better. Yeah, we got it out with a piece of grass. <laughs> Brant had the suggestion of fishing it out with some grass, and it worked. So Pocock with a pop fly right back to Prater. Ball spinning, but that's a good catch. It's more difficult than it looks when the ball's spinning Pocock flies that out way. To the catcher for the first out so that's up out number one, brings up Brianna Lee, lead. the pitcher. I don't think anybody's, you know, really listening to your suggestions of vision right now. Why not? It's difficult than it looks. Oh. Like, you know, how would you I, know, Abby? I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm sure everything looks a little difficult to you right now. You know what? It's just a little foggy, but I can still see. To my credit, I commentated the last half of that inning with one eyeball. It's impressive. That's quite a talent. Because my color man doesn't even know. Getting I'm your color man? Yeah, that's called color. Color commentary. Brianna Lee grounds to the second baseman, gets away from her, and the last second throw by Gunnels will get Lee out. That's two quick outs here for Rochester. Lee grabs out to second base. Bring up. The DP, number nine, Beeler. Carly Beeler up to bat. Grounds out to the shortstop. Good pick by Benton there. And that's three quick outs and a quick Beeler inning for Rochester. For We're heading to the top of six. Scores eight to Into four. Five. We'll eight be back four. after. Bet. Up to bat now for Tippecanoe Valley, Abby Benton. Brandon Lee still on the mound for Rochester. Starts off with strike one. Lee having a pretty successful time in the circle now as she's been working ahead in the count, kind of putting the Tippecanoe Valley hitters back on their heels. Benton hits a hard ground ball to third base. Elliott makes Benton a quick out. To third base. One away, brings up the pitcher, number two, Howard. The pitcher, Howard, comes up to bat now. Score is eight to four here. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Tippecanoe Valley in the lead. Have been in the lead since the first inning, actually. Rochester tied it at the bottom of one, and Tippecanoe Valley has kept the lead since then. Score count, excuse me, is one and one. Make that two and one with the ball on the inside corner. Just one out, no runners on base for Tippecanoe Valley. And hard hit to the shortstop, bounces off Pocock's leg. Howard will have an easy trip Howard's to first base. Reaches first on an error. And this brings Bring up, up Allie baseman. Benton, the Number first 10, baseman, Allie up Benton. to bat. Come on, A.B. 
First pitch is a strike. Oh, and one is your count with one out. Howard on first base. Tippecanoe Valley in the lead here in the top of the six. Eight to four is the score. Like that, Brant? I did. I'm impressed. Line drive to right field. That's a big play by Elena Richard as she gets the tailing line drive. Almost gets Howard right at field, first base, the, uh, who dives stop, back. 52, Scott. A little dirty now. Shortstop number 52, Scott, comes up to bat for Tippecanoe Valley. One runner on base, not in scoring position, but looking to capitalize on this four-run lead that Valley has. Inside for strike one. Good movement there by Lee as she gets quickly ahead. Oh, and two. Two outs, one runner on first base. Ground ball to Brown at second base, and that will end the inning. Heading Scott to the bottom of six, Rochester having out. some ground to gain here, eight to four. Tippecanoe Valley in the lead. You're watching RTC TV four. We'll be back right after this. Coming up to bat for the zebras. Welcome back to the bottom of the sixth inning here. Rochester needing to get on the board. Back in the Only two the more chances. Borges. Borges Scores eight to bat. four. Visiting Vikings are in the lead here. Allie Borges up to bat for Rochester, takes ball number one. Ball number two goes back behind Prater, the catcher. Pop fly to shallow center. Nice catch by Yoder as she gets there just in time. First Borges out of the inning. Center field, bring up 
The batter, number 27, Pearson. Number 27, Pearson comes up to bat. She is pinch hitting. First pitch of the ball. Swing and a miss, makes the count even at one. Good eye on the high pitch. Swing and a miss on the outside pitch, evens the count at two with one out. Eight to four is the score here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Corey Rao, the leadoff batter, is on deck for Rochester. Ball on the outside makes the count full. And out number two, strikeout. Pearson so Rao comes up to bat. The leadoff batter, number seven, Rao. Rao looks at ball one. Slaps it to the shortstop who is playing way in. Rao gets thrown out and it ends the inning. Heading to the top of the seventh, eight to four. Tippecanoe Valley Vikings in the lead. You're watching RTC TV four. We'll be back after. Off the seventh inning for the Vikings, number 27, the second baseman, Gunnels. Welcome back to the top of the seventh inning here. Could be the last inning if Tippecanoe Valley holds their lead and plays some good defense in the bottom of the seventh inning. They are up by four runs here, eight to four. Haven't scored the last two innings. Yeah, neither team has scored since the fourth inning here. Brianna Lee still in the circle for Rochester. Maya Gunnels at the plate. Watches the first strike come in as the count evens at one. So Brianna Lee holding down the Vikings pretty well since she's come into the game. Tippecanoe Valley has kept their same pitcher. Howard is in the circle for them. Ball high makes the count two and two. Two and one, excuse me, two and one. Another high pitch gets away from Musselman. Three and one is your count. Yes. 
Pop fly right back to the catcher. Lots of spin, and that's an easy out for Rochester. Big out as Musselman grabs that Donald pop fly. Out to catcher for the first out to bring up the DP, 26, Gomez. The DP, Gomez, number 26, heads to the plate. One out and no runners on base. First ball comes across, bounces off the plate. One down, one down. Ground ball to Elliott at third, and she will make the throw for out number two. Gomez grounds out to third base. Amy Baca, the Two right fielder, the left fielder, up to bat. Nine, Baca. Ground ball to the third baseman, keeps it in play, and that will be a quick inning third. and out number three. Heading to the bottom of the seventh inning, Rochester needing to score four Heading runs to, to tie, to five to take the game. The Brown, Vikings Elliott, in the Musselman. lead, eight to four. Top of the lineup coming up for Rochester. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be Welcome back to the bottom of the seventh inning. Could be the final inning. Should be the final inning unless Rochester ties it up here. They can win, or if they don't sco score four runs, then it will be a loss. Macy Brown up to bat now. Her count's 0-2 as she misses that bunt. <coughs> and fly ball to left field is caught kind of a tough play not sure if she was Brown going to get to it field. bring up the third baseman number three number 22 elliott. ingholm makes the out number three and the third baseman alexis elliott's up to bat with kennedy musselman on deck one out here elliott looking for a gapper to get this started Line drive to right center. That'll fall in for a hit for Elliott. Elliott with a single. She's had a pretty good night here. Bring up the catcher, number 44. This brings Musselman. up Kennedy Musselman. <laughs> Howard been careful pitching to Musselman all evening, knowing she's got some power for the Zebras. On deck is Charlie Pocock. Fly ball to the shortstop, trying to get a double play, and Elliott gets back in time, so that is out number two. Musselman flies out to shortstop. New Valley, one out, out away from a big win here. Shortstop, Pocock. So po Pocock is up to bat. Score is eight to four. Tippecanoe Valley in the lead with two outs here. Alexis Elliott on first base. And fly ball goes back and out of play. Okay. 
And dribbler to the second baseman. Tippecanoe Valley gets the third out. And that will be the end of the game. Big victory for Tippecanoe Valley Pokemon here. The always the rivalry game the between game. the Rochester Zebras Valley and Tippecanoe Valley Zebras Vikings. Four. Vikings lead Zebras with the victory. Abby Malco and Brent Gerald here play. live on RTC TV 4. Thanks for Zebras watching like and we will catch you on Thursday. Good luck we'll be at Winnemac right as Kasten so takes on the Warriors. Got anything, Brent? Have a good night. Have a good night. See you later.